Hello everyone and welcome back to Mount and Blade Warband with the Nova Aetas mod. Now the focus of today's episode will be exploration. We're going to be exploring the new world because on my own I've actually been doing some exploring and I've discovered some really cool things. I've discovered uh, one more jungle, that's actually what we're in right now, and I have also discovered some forgotten or lost towns and cities of the Aztecs. And yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. So um, today, as I said, we're going to be stalking through jungles, we're going to be fighting some natives, and we're going to do a little bit of treasure hunting, and um, I just want to quickly give a disclaimer here that there's going to be some random cuts in, in, in this video because uh, I'm just going to be walking around and oftentimes we have to surpass quite some distances and that actually takes a long time so I want to cut out these middle parts and hey what the I'm not done talking yet stop stop it <sighs> how dare he Anyway, um, I, I think you get the idea. Oh wow, and this guy... Oh wow, I, I don't even have my shield up. I'm not done... I'm not done talking. I'm not multitasking. I can't do two things at the same time. So uh, these guys are actually quite annoying. But anyways, as I was saying, we're just going to be exploring a couple of things today. And yeah, this jungle um, is actually kind of interesting. Because yeah, of this altar right here. And, oh, oh, I totally missed. I always, oh, he actually took a hit. Wow, I'm surprised. Yeah, I'm, I'm always a bit surprised when these, je oh, so many of them, when they, when they come at me, I just don't expect them. All right, there we go. Oh, so rude, isn't it? I find it in extremely rude of them. Anyway, um, so we're going to make our way over here because I've already spotted a chest right there. Um, however, we need to be careful because if we were to just go up here, as you can see, there are traps. Can you see these these spikes? Yes, they're hidden uh, behind these farms or I don't know what this is, behind these plants anyways. So we need to be very careful that we do not accidentally run into them. So yeah, let's make our way maybe maybe around here. That would be, uh, be good, yes. And go up here. Now I'm not really too sure why there's a tree growing up on this. Oh, and we're being shot at. Oh my god, let's quickly grab the treasures. Oh nice, a death mask and a necklace. Very sweet. Now I did actually, um, last time we left off, uh, discovering this, or well, exploring this tribal town. And there was another jungle close to that. I discovered that jungle on my own and I um, found some treasures. Oh, we're being, someone is shooting at us. Yeah, we're just gonna have to run away. Um, and I, I just got some treasures there as well, um, but they were not too interesting. This jungle seems to be a bit more, I guess, fleshed out. So, yeah, uh, that's why I'm showing you this. And, all right, maybe I'm going to have to shoot this guy here because he's going to be in our way. Yes. All right, can I, can I hit him? Well, I'm just going to let him come a little bit closer. There we go. Yeah. Uh, now, the good thing about the... Uh, firearm here is obviously that you can reload while you're running or walking and that obviously is quite useful. All right, so uh, we just um, We're almost up here on this huge temple and um, as you can see there's a lot of spikes here So I wonder if we can get around. I don't want to walk into them um, But we're still being we're still being chased by the uh, bow and arrow guy. I'm not even sure where he is exactly but he was... Oh yeah, he's still shooting. Is that him right there? Or is that a plant? No, he he's over there somewhere. Luckily, our armor... Now, this is something I have just... Well, I've bought myself. Uh, because I felt like, you know, we had the money. I think it's time that we invest a little bit in ourselves. And I've, I I think it looks pretty nice. Um, actually, we should probably go all the way up here. There's another chest. Yes, that was what I've been looking for. But yeah, basically... Um, I think that looks really, really nice, and it is also uh, much better than the armor we had previously. Okay, I killed this guy, but this archer, oh my god, he's very annoying. I don't think I can actually... Oh wow, I hit him. Wow, look at that. Our proficiency is just increasing. Can I hit him as well? No. Alright, you know what, I think we're just gonna... <laughs> look at all these arrows here. I think we're just gonna grab this treasure. Uh, we need to be wary of traps, obviously. Uh, yes. Very nice, another necklace, a turquoise skull, and amber. Very sweet. Cool, I love I love treasure hunting. Uh, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. But yeah, um, what's what's up here? We can go on to a tree. 
Alright, that does not seem to be... Okay, no, there's nothing here. Alright, so, um, let's have a last... Oh, no, 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 don't, don't fall off, please. Let's have a last look, I guess, around. Um, and then we should probably just get out of here. Maybe get our shield out as well. Oh, wow, throwing knives on there as well. <laughs> these natives, these natives grow more ballsy, and yeah, the traps are also more frequent, so that's kind of interesting. I wonder if this is leveling up with your character skills, but yeah, I don't know. Anyways, uh, I think we've pretty much gotten everything out of this jungle, and I just want to quickly show you where we are right now. So, I have set up my colony here, Terra Nova, of course, and then I've discovered the Aztec, well, I, I guess we're just gonna call them Aztec. Um, I've discovered the Aztec lands here, and I found another colony, the Kurgit Canate has set up a colony right here, which I found very interesting. And then we also have the Rodox with their colony up here. So I'm not the only one colonizing. So if we want to get, well, a fair share of the colonies, we should hurry up because otherwise everything will be taken. Uh, but so far, there's still plenty of uh, lands left. Now, this, um, this colony right here, actually produces gold and this one down here produces silver so those are some uh, I actually want to go for I definitely want to get them now what else have I discovered uh, last time as I said we left off in this tribal town and I uh, explored this jungle then I made my way back to mainland Calradia and uh, gathered some more resources for our colony and yeah when I came back I discovered some more things and I found First of all, the lost town of Itzo right here. I found this jungle and I found the forgotten town of Axtihuatl. And we're going to check them out, these two towns, we're going to check them out today, as well as the Motai statues. Yeah, that's basically what we're going to do. So yeah, let's make our way over to the forgotten town. And once we're there, I'm going to cut right back, as I said. But yeah, you know, you know that there's going to be cuts in here. So yeah, we've made it to the ruined town of Axtihuatl, a town which has been ravaged by the hands of the gods a few decades ago. The nearby volcano seems to be still restless. Do you want to take the risk and explore the remnants? Now, this is something I probably have not really talked about. There is a volcano right next to this town, which I think is looking pretty impressive. And it seems like a little waterfall there as well. But yeah, let's uh, go ahead and explore this town. Um, I'm not really sure what we are going to find here. I'm guessing this to our left is the volcano. Yes, very likely. We have a ruined town, ruined building here. Oh, and this must be the town, yeah. Located on, well, close to a lake, it seems. Mm -hmm. And I think I've already spotted the first chest. Perfect. That's sweet. Now, I wonder if we're going to actually discover natives here as well. But I will definitely prepare for it. Yeah, because uh, it's a forgotten town after all, so who knows if there's going to be some natives here. But for now, let's check out the chest here. Uh, a golden necklace, very nice. Some emeralds and amethysts, and for some reason, oil. That kind of doesn't really fit, but okay, I'm going to take it anyways. All the treasures to me. Alright, so I will obviously just continue exploring a little bit. Okay guys, so I found the huts of some of these natives here, the, the tribesmen. Uh, so far I've only seen a couple of tribesmen. They have not attacked me as of yet, so maybe they are friendly, but yeah, I doubt it actually. Um, and I also doubt that they're gonna be having a whole lot of riches in here. Um, yeah, it seems like there's nothing to be found here. That's, uh, that's quite sad. Oh, uh, there's someone. Okay, oh yeah, and he is quite aggressive of course. He cannot get in here, it seems like. Luckily he does not know how to swing his dagger, whatever he has. He has probably an obsidian blade. What is it called? A makwa huetl. Yeah, whatever. He cannot hit us with it. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, no treasures here. Maybe in here? Mm, no. There's some tree bran branches or growing in there. Okay, there's... Oh, look at this. There's a lot of them. I don't think they have spotted me yet, so let's uh, quickly go away. Obviously, I can defeat them. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Did you just see that? Do you see how many there are? Oh my god, yeah. So we're gonna have to uh, go away. Uh, I mean, as I said, I can I can defeat them, but I don't have to, not necessarily. Okay, so we're being followed. Uh, they have found us, and now they are throwing all kinds of things. They're shooting with arrows. It's just crazy. Okay, we're gonna have to 
take out one after another. Nice. You spear, I dodged it. And where are your... Okay, there's one. We're just gonna shoot this guy. Although he does not seem to be unfriendly. He was just standing there. Okay, this guy. He is actually quite annoying. But so far, he has not actually hit us. He's just... Well, quite... First oh, oh, I missed. Damn it. And I cannot see anything. I think that doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna hit him anyways. Okay, uh, there's one gentleman up there. And another one running up. Alright, we did not manage to reload our pistol in time. But this guy just seems to be content to stand around. That's kind of cool. Alright, come on. Alright, he's dead. And one more. How many? How many natives are in a forgotten town? It's supposed to be forgotten. And of course, one more. Well, he seems to be stuck. So I'm going to use that opportunity to reload. Yes. And um, just stay there. Just stay. Nope. Okay. Never mind. We'll reload once again. Now, I think I'm going to actually make my way over here then. Because that seems to be where the next treasures are to be had. Okay, good. So we took care of this guy. And um, yeah, I want to make my way to this island up there. But I don't really know how we can get there. It seems like we must we must uh, take a little bit of a, a bath here. Uh, so let's hold our breath for a second. Perfect. So we have almost emerged from the water. Uh, it was not too difficult to get to this side. And yeah, I think we might actually find some more treasures here. Perfect. Hidden behind... Uh, well, behind this, uh, this fire thing. Um, okay. Anyway, let's get to the chest. Ooh, a pile of coins worth 3,000. Must be golden coins. A topaz, as well as a fine turquoise. Yes, we're gonna take it all. Look at these treasures. It's amazing. And that's not all. There's more to gain, um, it, from all the other towns. So, yeah, let's just, uh, walk around. And I think, I think that probably is... It. I will look around uh, a little bit more, but I think two chests is about all we can find. So, yeah. Um, unless I find something more interesting, uh, we will head over to the Lost Town. Um, so, yeah, I'll see you guys in a second. Aha! So, yeah, I just wanted to check out this little fireplace here um, because I saw that from afar. And now I found another chest. So that's very nice. I'm happy that I have not yet uh, w gone back. So yeah, we'll have another rare gemstones, amber, and two sapphires. Perfect. We are filling up uh, quite nicely with all of our uh, treasures here. Now, one thing I should also show you is, um, I, I believe you are used to me carrying around a holy Bible, but now I've added an ornate holy cross to the artifacts that I uh, carry with me because it just, you know, seems fit for a vassal of the papacy and the holder or the grand master of the, not master, grand master of the holy city of Hiroshima. But yeah, I think we now have truly discovered everything. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna get out of here and um, yeah, we're now going to make our way over to this little island right here. And we're going to discover the Motai statues and we'll see what they are all about. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a second. So I just landed on this little island and now some mysterious stone sculptures has been caught by your eyes or have been caught by your eyes. These curious miracles are the so-called Motai statues. Nobody knows how they are carved and carried to their current locations, much less where they come from. Allegedly, there are some treasures on this island. So yes, we're gonna of course take the risk and explore the Motai. Now, this is obviously something that we- oh! Wow, we are here with a with a ship. That's interesting. Um, that is very new. And there's uh, those are our two galleons, I I believe. And there is a Motai statue right there in the water already. And I believe this is one as well. Although this more looks like a phallus, um, or uh, I guess a dick, uh, in other words. Anyway, uh, we're gonna go ahead and explore some things. Is this a chest already? Uh, and of course, they're natives. Of course. They are natives here so far, they have not spotted me, but yeah, okay, mm, interesting. I wonder if they're going to be hostile as well. There's going to be some friendly people around, no? So yeah, we're going to make our way into the jungle, and 
Yeah. I don't really know. Oh, there's spikes already. Okay. Ah, uh, look at this, ladies and gentlemen. More of these statues. That looks pretty magnificent, I have to admit. Yes, indeed. Um, however, I've not yet found any treasures. Now, this looks nice. I, I, I do admit, of course, but where, where are the treasures? Where are the treasures? Now, this, this kind of looks sketchy. This seems like something's gonna fall on top of me. But where, where are your s treasures? Where have you hidden your treasures? Okay, found my first chest right here. Ah, sweet. Okay, so we'll see what the uh, treasures here hold. Okay, let's have a quick look. There we go. Uh, another gold necklace. Yes, some more oil, which is very strange. A stone of the sun and a sacrificial knife. Okay, that's very... That looks very nice, I have to admit, but look at the treasures. Now, let's actually um, move our clean water uh, a bit down here, just so we have actually room for our treasures. This is just amazing. This is all that we have picked up so far. And uh, yeah, wow. As I said, I have not yet sold any of these treasures. But um, I might do so once I run out of money. But hopefully that will never happen because I like to uh, play uh, roleplay as kind of a treasure hunter. So yeah, this is obviously quite nice. Okay, um, I might be on the wrong end here. So I'll have to turn around and head back over there. Now my instincts told me not to turn around just yet. And I um, made sure to explore this uh, this stretch of land all the way up here. And this seems to be like an altar where uh, sacrifices are actually being made. So yeah, this, uh, this is a little bit... Uh, Scary, but still there is a chest and that's what we're here for. Oh look at this ear pendants. Yeah Okay, okay, and we have stone now. We're gonna take the necklace. We're gonna take the salt We're gonna take the gold ore as well and the ear pendants although that seems a bit gross I'm not sure if I should pick up the stones as well, but I Suppose I mean we don't know what these stones are all about so I guess we'll pick them up as well just to see um, But yeah, I, I guess that was everything now, truly, that we could find over here. So, yeah, that's nice. Now, luckily so far, we have not discovered any more aggressive natives, so that's good. But, yeah, we're gonna make our way back into that direction, because I think there's, there's still more to discover here. Okay, so it seems as the natives are all over in this particular area. Uh, I have not encountered many before, but now I've encountered several already. And, uh, yeah, but uh, that's okay. We are easily able to deal with them. Uh, so far, I've not found any more treasures, so I'm not sure. I mean, once again, it was two chests, but, well, if we remember in the last... In the last town uh, that we have discovered, we found actually three chests in total. So maybe there's a third one here. I just have the feeling we should not abandon this place yet. Um... But yeah, once I've uh, once I fully discovered this place up here, I think I'm going to head back because I've been walking around here for several minutes now, and it it is uh, well, it, it is getting boring at some point. So yeah, it seems as though there's nothing left here, nothing left to see. I I, I just hope I'm just I'm just so greedy for treasures. But yeah, I I suppose nothing is here. We'll have a, one more quick look over here. Uh, if there's something maybe hidden behind, uh, well, this mountain. Actually, something hidden behind this mountain could be. All right, I guess we'll check this out as well, and then uh, we'll head back. So, unfortunately, nothing more to be found except a couple more natives, and uh, we're going to get rid of this one person here, and then I think we're going to head back to our ships and, uh, yeah, check out the last town that we want to explore today. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in a second. Alright guys, so we have made our way to the lost town of Itso, and this one looks very interesting because obviously this pyramid right there. Now, we already had uh, discovered some interesting stuff over here in this uh, forgotten town, but I wonder what the difference is going to be between a lost and a forgotten town, so we will check that out right now. Now, an ancient 
native town is buried in the jungle of New Praven. New Praven, apparently, is the name of this region right here. The wood has been rotted away long ago. Only the stone buildings keep us remembering of this ancient culture. This type of architecture is not the same as of the Aztauax. As it's different. Okay, that's very interesting. So, yeah, it seems to be a different civilization. Now, I wonder if we're once again going to run into some of the natives here. Okay, this looks different. It does look, well, it does look sort of different, but also sort of similar, I suppose. But yeah, it, it does look more, I think it looks more Calradian. Uh, but this definitely looks Aztecan. Um, so yeah, let's see what we can find in here. Apparently, a whole lot of ceramics and a dead man who has been dead for a while it seems maybe he drank himself to death that's uh, possible what else can we find well this is a huge area and uh, it's gonna be taking a long time oh my god there's a lot of dead people here I mean I don't want to get too close to this but that is kind of gross this is a huge area. It's going to take a long time to discover everything here. That's for sure. So after discovering the surroundings a little bit, I think there's not many treasures to be found here. We've also not run into any natives or traps. Only dead men and, or well, dead people for that matter. So yeah, this is what it looks like. Kind of, kind of like an oasis really, but uh, yeah, obviously it is quite weird that everyone is dead. This seems to be like a huge burial site and I don't know why these stone pillars are all uh, in disorder but I guess that's because nature has been crawling back now I, I think we're just gonna quickly head on to this huge pile and oh oh wow, I've almost I've almost missed a chest here so there are treasures here oh but it's the first one I've actually found so another sacrificial knife and some a, a gold necklace and jewelry okay well we're obviously going to pick everything up here um, but yeah, this is actually the first chest I did find. Maybe I was walking past the others. That's obviously possible. But yeah, basically I've decided that uh, we're just going to go and check out this huge major pyramid. Because that is obviously, um, that's obviously the center of this, of this uh, town or city. But yeah, as you can see, more dead people lying around everywhere. It is truly, truly scary. But yeah, I think we are... Did I... Did I check this out already? This seems new. Oh, there's another chest here. Oh, yes. I, I did not actually see the chest. I just saw this thing, but it kind of made me look twice. Okay, another gold necklace. We have found one, two, four, no four gold necklaces and three turquoise necklaces. That's amazing. Another ruby and sapphire. Don't mind if I do. Okay, so we've taken... We found two chests so far. So I guess there could be one more up here. Um, I, I, I suppose. Okay, so we've made it almost to the top of the steps. And I think I found another chest. Yes, well, that was to be expected. But let's have a first nice, uh, well, at first have a nice look around. And, uh, yeah, let's just take in this breathtaking city. It, it does look quite amazing as a ruin. And just imagine what it looked like when there were actually people here. So that's pretty amazing. So, um, yeah, I think we should now just head in here and check out what this is all about. We can already see a little bit of uh, plants that have taken back parts of, parts of the uh, temple. But yeah, let's uh, see what is in this chest. And a little bit more oil. Now, I find it very strange that there is oil here. I don't really know why I find that strange, but... I don't know. It, it's, it, it is strange. And a bit more amber and another turquoise necklace. Look what we have found at, on treasures. That's just amazing. If we were to sell this all, we would be we would be a millionaire, probably. But yeah, is there anything else? I just want to take a look around. Oh my god, this is just amazing. Yeah, now I guess if we were to spend a little bit more time, we might even find another chest. But I think for all... For all uh, I care, uh, I've seen enough of this. It does look amazing, but it also takes quite a long time to 
check out all of this. I mean, we've basically spent an entire episode today to just check out all of these lost towns, forgotten towns, jungles, and statue or island statues or whatever. So yeah, um, I think last thing that we need to do now is head back to our colony because there's also something I want to show you, but uh, yeah, that will do in a second. All right, guys, so at the end of today's episode, I just want to take some time to show you our colony of Terra Nova. Now, as you can see, uh, we now have 25 population, and uh, last time I've shown you that we had 10. Now, I brought another batch of colonists, up to 20, but then the rest, uh, the population grow, grew on, them, on, their, on their own, I guess. So that's really nice. I don't, I guess I don't really have to bring any more people over, but I will do it exactly one more time because I simply want to show you what this is like. Um, but that will obviously be in the next episode. For now, I want to show you one more time our colony because I've been building up the colony a little bit and I, I think it looks quite nice. So I just want you to uh, see that as well. So yeah, basically I've been building a kind of a palisade around because I did not actually have the resources to build a wooden fort yet. So I felt like it's good if we were to build some uh, some, well, some walls around. And this basically, this is so amazing because you can, you can put these things anywhere you want. It's, it's so much fun. I, I planted the trees. I put in that, the shats or these little, uh, thatched, um, sh sheds or shacks. I don't know what it's called, uh, where the people can live. And I've also placed all of these, um, all of these towers right there, all of the wooden palisades, as well as the uh, doorways here. So yeah, as you can see, we have one entrance here and one right there on the other side. And I think I'm just going to go around real quick and show you what is what. So yeah, we have one watchtower here that basically um, is protecting our entrance here, as well as having a little bit of a look over the river. I guess we can actually make our way on here at least. Can we? Yes, we can. Okay. No, well, we cannot. I used to be able... I, I'm not sure why this is a bit strange. But, yeah, okay, you can... I was able to get up there at some point, but now it's not longer possible. Okay, well, whatever. But, yeah, so as you can see, um, this this is all closed off, all is walled up. I, I really like that. I think it looks quite amazing. Um, but... Yeah, obviously it's it's not uh, it's not a stone castle or a castle at all uh, or a walled town even. But for the colony, this is pretty good. I mean, it will at least provide us with some basic defenses. We have another wooden tower here. Um, I I wanted to build another one, but I first of all didn't have any place. I didn't have any space to put it, and also I didn't really have the resources. Another tree planted here, and of course this is kind of the village center where we have our, our little well as well as uh, many of the uh, of the houses. Now this house is actually a little bit too close to the well, but that's okay. I, I think that's that's fine. So yeah, I'm just going to show off the last perimeter right there, and there we have another wooden watchtower. It's still kind of strange that I can't really get up here. Um, it, I can for a little bit, and if I if I jump high, it, it, it works as well. Come on, l l l let me get up there. No, it, it, it does not seem to be possible, and then it just lets me glide down. Well, I, I guess that's just something we're going to have to live with. But yeah, um, on that note, I think I'm going to, well, is there anything more I wanted to show you? Garrison? Mm, not really. I mean, I've hired three blades, uh, just kind of as my personal guard, and we have some veteran cannoneers, two of which I will actually put in my garrison in the holy city, and the two others I need to work my cannon. I have not actually shown you the cannon yet, my, my artillery. I will do that if we have a battle, but I, I think for now that is all I wanted to show you in this episode. So yeah, um, obviously there has not been a lot of progress in terms of, I guess, development of our colonies or towns, but we discovered all of, uh, all of the things that are to be discovered in the new world and I think that was also quite nice to have. Next episode though we will be uh, showing a little bit more of the town management back at home. I will show you um, how I pick up my colonists and yeah some more things as well but for now I just want to thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you uh, well I hope you tune in next time and I hope to see you then.